Okay, so I've constructed a surface here. It's a bottle, a um, perfume bottle, which is made using surfaces revolved. I filled in the top face and I filled in the bottom face. Before I do anything else, if I just go to section, you'll see that the inside of the bottle is completely hollow. Now, what I would like to do is I'm going to knit the surface together to make it a full surface. So I'm going to click knit surface. I'm going to click the top face, the revolved face, and the bottom face. And I'm going to click here, try to form solid, merge entities, and say yes. Now, when I go back to section, you will see my bottle is now solid. It's a very good idea to make sure your bottle is solid when you're using surfaces. I want to put some writing on the front here. So, I'm going to go to front plane. And I'm going to look normal front plane. Now, this is important. I want my writing to go on one face and one face only for the start. So, I'm going to look normal to it. And I'm looking at the front now. I'm going to go to sketch and I'm going to go to center line. The reason I'm going to center line is just to find where the middle is. Lovely. So I know that my writing is going to be centered. Next thing I'm going to do here is click the arrow and I'm going to go to midpoint line. Now the reason I'm picking midpoint line is just so I'm going to get an equal line. Now let's say the line is after going crooked. I'm going to right click on it, make horizontal. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say it's for construction. I'm just going to put a smart dimension on it just so everything is nicely dimensioned. And a height up from it. Lovely. Now I want to put text on this writing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the A symbol and I'm going to click on that. It's asking me here where do I want to put the text. I want to put it on this line. So I'm going to click on the line. Next thing I'm going to type in the text. So I'm going to type in perfume. We'll just keep it simple. Obviously you would be using whatever you want. Now I'm going to center it like so. We have all these different icons here that will center it, bring it to the right, bring it to the left. If it was upside down, back to front, so on. Next, you'll see that the Use Document font, font box is ticked. I'm going to untick that, and I'm going to go in here to Font. I'm currently at 30 points. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to go up as far as 20, and I'm going to make it italic, and I'm just going to click a different type of different type of script. Some of the scripts are harder for SolidWorks to use than other. I'm just going to try this one in italic bold, italic bold. I'm going to say OK. And you'll see here now, as you can see, it's too big. So what if I was to just increase this, say yes to that, and increase this now to 45. You'll see it's still too big. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to hover until it goes orange, click on it, and go into font, and see where I have 20? I'm going to make that 16 and just say OK. So now I have my perfume. Now I'm going to say yes to that. Up here in Features, I'm going to click on Features. I'm going to go into Curves, and I'm going to go into Projected Curve. Sorry. I'm going to go into Split Line. Split Line. Now, I'm going to click the face that I want the writing to be on, and I'm going to say Single Direction. Now, you can see the arrow is pointing to the back. I want to reverse the arrow direction. And you have Silhouette, Projection, Intersection. I'm going to say Projection. I'm going to say Yes. Now, you can see the writing is on the face. Now, if I click here and I just turn it off, that's hidden. You can't see it anymore. But what you would do in this case is you would change the writing. So if I right click on this and go face, and let's say in this case it was black. So as you can see, I'm just selecting all them black. And I'm going to say yes to this. Now when I go down, get rid of the lines, you'll still see it's still coming up. Lovely. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to have the logo, but I'm going to put the logo on the front and on the back. So please watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go front plane, and I'm going to go reference geometry plane. And I'm going to make a new plane. I'm going to make a new plane here, 50, and I'm just going to put it on the back. I'll put it and say yes. And I'm going to left click on this, construction, plane A. Oh, sugar. I'm going to right click and I'm going to look normal to this. I'm going to get a center line again, just give myself an idea of where the sketch should be. And I'm going to draw a sketch. It doesn't matter what logo it is. Obviously, without going into too much detail, every single bottle will have a different type of logo. I'm just using a spline here just to generate different types. 
Now, obviously, it's very important when you're finished this that you'd smart to mention it. I'm just going to continue to move without smart to mention it. So that's my logo there. Now, I'm going to go in here to Features, Curves, Split Line. Now, what surface do I want to project it onto? I want to project it onto this surface. Single direction. Now, you see the arrows pointing backwards. Reverse the direction. I'm going to say yes. And now, what should happen is my logo is on the front and the back. I'm just going to hide that. Go into my color. Sorry, click on the face. Right click. Click the beach ball. Click face. And I'm going to change the face of that to red and red. And say yes. And now, as you can see, that's given me options on both sides. If I click this and I get rid of the line details, you'll see that the split line is still coming up. And that's how we can put different design details onto bottles. Now I'm also going to just show you about changing the material. If I click over here to change the material, okay, the material has been closed. If I go into glass, gloss, and if I click down here, I want mirrored. If I go into textured, I'm going to go with frosted gloss, glass. So I'm just going to click it, drag it over. Now, as you can see, we don't want the face, we want the whole part. I'm going to say yes to that. You can see that the perfume writing and the logo still come up on their own accord. So that's how we're getting the different details.